watch Dan Rojas and I am next to a very large satellite dish that is made out of metal. It's lined with the part A material right now. This dish is almost six foot in diameter and it has a pretty good focal point on it. It's actually boiling 16 ounces of water in about two minutes in just an aluminum beer bottle. I painted it black so it absorbs a little bit better. But this material is about 85% reflective. The surface that I put on there is pretty good. It was the first time I lined a big dish like this. A little bit of a learning curve. Took me about three hours to line this and put together to this point. There's a stand that comes with this and everything. I'll have more information on this. This does not give you the small tight focal point like a Fresnel lens does or our parabolic mirrors do. This gives you a wider focal point over a larger area that's capable of pretty much covering this whole piece of wood. Not useful for melting metal or for melting glass, that sort of thing, but it is very useful for cooking and it's also very useful for boiling water because you don't need 2700 degrees to boil water. You need 200, 250, 300 degrees. This actually puts about 600 degrees over a large area. So you get almost six, you, you get a six foot diameter of reflective sunlight down to an area about this big, giving you pretty much everything you need. This will boil two gallons of water about 20 minutes. There'll be information on this dish on our website. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. This is frozen chicken. I've got a little oil in a slightly smaller pan. So we put the chicken in whole frozen straight out. I had a bag of potatoes left over. Put some Old Bay seasoning on there. I'm adding a little bit of water. This is from our reverse osmosis system. So you can see how advanced my tracking system is. It shows you how simple you can actually do stuff. I'm working on a better system for this, but Actually, not currently working on it, but I plan on doing something. This shows you that you can be pretty versatile. Good focal point up under there. You got rice spilled all over it, and I just washed it down with a little bit of water. You can actually hose this off. This material sticks really well, doesn't go anywhere. And, uh, you just want to hose these down every couple days. If you scratch this up, like let's say you get a really bad gouge, you just put another piece of film over it. It's really no big deal. The nice thing about this is you have to adjust the tracking. Uh, uh, you have to adjust the focal point about every 30 minutes. So it's really, when you do it like this, it's almost impossible to burn your food because if you forget, it's just going to move itself off. The only problem is, is if you really forget towards the end of the evening, uh, you got to cook your food other ways. But this is also a great way to defrost stuff. That chicken's frozen solid. This has been cooking for right at 50 minutes now. That was uh, about 32 ounces of water, some oil, and some frozen chicken with seasoning. Made like kind of a potato stew. It actually smells really good. In exactly one hour, we were able to cook frozen chicken all the way through and whole pot of potatoes, we stewed them. And then over here is pan number two. This is a deep pot of rice. This would feed probably about 20 people right here. This is, this is what we feed our dogs. This is actually two days. Um, Two, two days of meals for six dogs. They actually love this. And we give them this. The combined total on this, this all costs about $4.
So to feed six dogs for two days at four bucks is not bad. And when Denise and I are hungry, we actually snack on their dog food. Wow, those carrots are perfect. <laughs>